In the CFD simulation training package, we will enlighten you the essential tech to carry out numerical CFD simulations. We investigate both steady and transient solvers, breathing, coughing and sneezing of patients in different places of airplane cabin, elevator cabin, classrooms, uh, operation rooms, cars, classrooms and also open air. The coronavirus spirit CFT simulation training package include 10 different CFT projects including comprehensive training movies. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFT training videos by Mr. CFT. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFT logo and subscribe. In this project, we will simulate the condition of a COVID-19 patient breathing in an operating room in a hospital. You can change other two injections in this window, just like the previous instruction. Under the species tab, you will see that the species mass fraction for this file is uh, are as below. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear, showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you will you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also you can change the discretization into other formats like you can change them into first order event and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. In this slide, you can see the carbon dioxide particles exiting from patient's mouth. And we can easily see how particles move toward the exit and not spread inside the room. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. We will simulate coronavirus patients breathing in an airplane using ANSYS Fluent software. To do that, after clicking on Fluent Database button in the Appeal window under the Material tab, you just have to select the inert particle. And after selecting this type of material, uh, you can select new material from the Fluent Fluid Material Database. In the Appeal window under the Momentum tab in front of the Velocity Magnitude, you can see the Velocity Magnitude of the Airflow Entering Dish Boundary. As for thermal condition, you can see that heat flux thermal condition is activated and the amount of heat flux on this wall is equal to zero, which means that this wall is adiabatic. Now, in order to define a new plane yourself, you just have to right click on the surface and then click on new. After that, a window will appear just like the previous step in which you can select the desirable plane yourself. Now in this 2D velocity contour, you can easily see the velocity magnitude of the airflow inside our computational domain. For example, you can easily see the velocity magnitude of the airflow near the mouth of the people inside the airplane, which is an increased amount in comparison with other sections. Now in this contour, you can easily see how the particles have moved after they had exited from the people's mouths. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate coronavirus dispersion in an elevator cabin due to the sneeze. By clicking on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit, a new window will appear in which you can change the boundary settings. After clicking on edit for this boundary, under the momentum tab, you can see that a stationary wall and no sleep shear condition is defined for this boundary. Now in order to extract and see the path line and the streamlines in our computational domain, you just have to right click on path line and then select new. As you can see in this contour, the airflow has entered from the upper air inlet and it will leave the computational domain through the lower outlet. Now in this contour, you can easily see how the particles have moved towards the outlet boundary. Now in this 3D contour, you can easily see how the air enters the computational domain from the upper uh, uh, inlet boundary. And after entering the elevator, it will leave it, the geometry from the lower output. Now in this contour you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain where the most of the computational domain has a temperature of almost 
290 kelvins. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, the spread of the coronavirus due to a cough in the open air is simulated. Determine the minimum, maximum, and middle diameter size, spread parameter, and the number of diameter per injection. It should be noted that the droplet mode is applied when the species model is enabled. Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the re uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. And that's it. We apply the use active and also the preview button to check that this view is our favorite view for obtaining the animation. Here we can see the particle residence time due to the coronavirus patients coughing in an open air. Finally, this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution as a review. The problem simulates the air conditioning system inside a patient's cleaning room considering the coronavirus. The simulation is steady in terms of time. Also, the inject using face normal direction is used that shows that the particle injection direction is normal to the mouth boundary. We assume that every particle after collision to the wall will be trapped. So the trap boundary condition type for the discrete phase model condition is used. By extracting this result, we can see that the ventilation performance is acceptable. And also we know that in which direction the particles are going. Here is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution in these tables. In this project, we will simulate the coronavirus spread in a car due to the cough of the driver. And for the final section in this part, if you click on the physical models, you can see the drag parameters which uses the spherical drag law. Also, you can see we have enabled the breakup option and the breakup model is selected to be TAB. In this window, under the contours of section, you can select your desired variable, which in this slide you can see we have selected temperature. And then under the surfaces section, we select our defined plane and click on save or display button. Now in this slide you can clearly see the temperature distribution over our generated plane after the driver coughs or sneezes. And now in this slide you can clearly see the velocity distribution over our generated plane. And finally, in this slide, you can clearly see the particle tracks in different time steps of our study. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project 
is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will perform COVID-19 airborne risk measuring in a classroom. Now, if you click on the next boundary, which is the mouth inlet boundary, you can see again the type of this boundary is defined as velocity inlet. Again, by clicking on edit button, you can adjust the settings for this boundary. After creating the plane, you have to expand the graphics, go over contours, right click on it, and then select new. Now in this slide, you can see the velocity distribution in the middle plane inside our computational domain. And finally in this slide, you can see the particle tracks that were injected inside our computational domain through the mouses of the students. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate the plastic cover effect in banks regarding COVID-19 virus. Also, make sure that inject using face normal direction option is selected and enabled in this window too. By clicking on the species tab for all of these wall boundaries, under the species boundaries condition, you can see zero diffusive flux are defined for all of the species, which means that no species will be generated nor may pass through these boundaries. And finally, in this slide, you can clearly see the particle tracks in different times, and you can clearly see the roll of cover which is placed between these two people in preventing the cough or sneeze droplets to pass through. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate the spread of respiration particles due to talking. Now, before proceeding to model section, we need to define the profile of changes of velocity and mass fraction of particles injected to our model. Now, in order to extract 2D contours, we first have to define a plane. To do that, we right-click on Surfaces, go over New, and then select Easy Surfaces. Now, in this slide, you can clearly see the temperature of the particles that got out from the patient's mouth. And finally, in this slide, you can see the particle tracks coming outside the mouth of the patient. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate the respiration particles and COVID-19 virus, and we propose consideration for wearing shields. Now, before proceeding to model section, we need to define the profile of changes of velocity and mass fraction of particles injected to our model. Now, in order to extract 2D contours, we first have to define a plane. To do that, we right-click on Surfaces, go over New, and then select Easy Surfaces. Now, in this slide, you can clearly see the temperature of the particles that got out from the patient's mouth. And finally, in this slide, you can see the particle tracks coming outside the mouth of the patient. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at